Escaping war and an uncertain trip around the globe leads to an artist calling South Mississippi home. Now she's using the coast life and life's journey as her inspiration. I don't want to be in the frame. Even I'm an artist, it's so interesting because I framed artworks, but I don't want to live in the frames. Oleksandra Petrovska isn't confined by the boundaries of frames or life's obstacles. Art provides freedom and it gives Sasha, as she's also known, a way to capture her feelings at any given moment. I'm feeling something and I'm doing. And the feelings are different. For me, art is my life. Without art, I can imagine myself because I think that our life is the art. The canvas of Sasha's life is now centered in past Christian. It's like the new story in our book. It was the life before this chapter and this is another chapter. The previous chapter ended two years ago when war broke out in Sasha's home country of Ukraine. When the explosion started, she and her husband made the quick decision to flee with their two-year-old son and family pet. It's not safe. It's still not safe. It's my town in Odessa. It's bombing every day. The journey of desperation took Sasha and her family across Europe, then to Mexico, where they crossed the U.S. border into California. When we came to San Diego, it was like paradise. After all of this, uh, you came just like to another planet. <laughs> Sasha's ultimate destination was always South Mississippi, where her mother and sister had been living for years. With their help and the support of others, Sasha, her husband, and now four-year-old son have a place to call home. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we found here a lot of friends, a lot of friends and so good people. I have never seen so much good people. With the help of new friends, Sasha's artwork is now on display at the Past Christian Library, and a poetry book written by her is in the works. She sees it as just the start in the chapters of possibilities still ahead. I am living today, and I'm feeling here very peaceful. I love this country. I really, it was my dream to be some days in this country. And you can see her work on display at the Past Christian Library. She will be at the library for a meet and greet as well on Thursday from 4 to 6.